Hello everybody. This is Ishita Agarwal and welcome you all in managing software licenses within an organization throughout its life cycle using BMC Remedy Asset Management. Uh, before moving with our further discussions, let's take a small look on the agenda which we would be covering today in our discussion. We would be seeing about the software asset management. We would be talking about the stages of the software life cycle. We'll be having a discussion on the software license management. We would take a look on the implementation of software license management. We will see how to add a license certificate to a software contract. We would, we would also take a look on the automatic linking of software assets to license certificates using license jobs. And then we will take a look on how to review the software usage and compliance using software management console. So from this we can start up our discussion on the software asset management. We can always use the software license management feature in BMC Remedy Asset Management to facilitate, focus and follow through on compliance. So this section describes how to use BMC Remedy Asset Management to manage software licenses and their compliance within your organization. As per the ITIL, it is defined as all of the infrastructure and process necessary for the effective management, control and protection of software assets throughout all stages of their life cycle. So we will be focusing on the goal to reduce IT cost by reducing software licenses, overspending and non-compliance through greater accuracy in discovering, tracking and reallocating software licenses. From this, from this discussion, we can always conclude that the goal of software asset management is to reduce information technology cost and limit business and legal risk related to the ownership and use of a software while maximizing IT responsiveness and end user productivity. Now let's talk about the software lifecycle. As we are knowing the concept of the software asset management, we can move our focus now on discussing the various stages which are there in the software lifecycle. As you can all see in the figure itself, that the first, the software asset which would be deployed into our infrastructure would initially be gone to the negotiation stage. From there, it would be procured. After that, it would be deployed. During deployment of the software asset, we would actually be dealing with the software license management. Then, after deployment, the software asset goes on with maintenance stage where it could end, up, end his life or could go on the renewal stage. Let's see each stage in detail. Talking about the very first stage of the software asset that is negotiation. That means we'll be procuring the software from another company. One of the very first step is to negotiate a software license contract with the vendor. So whenever we, we would be planning to procure software from another company, we would be con contacting with the vendor. And if we have BMC IT business management suit, we can use the vendor relationship management module during the negotiation stage. In BMC Remedy Asset Management, we can use the contract management console to track the different type of contracts for each vendor, including software contracts. So at this stage, the contract manager would be creating the software contract with the status of draft. Later on, the software asset would move in the procurement stage. We'll be using Remedy Asset Management to generate a purchase order for the software or we can use other procurement softwares. We can always relate the purchase order for the software to the software license certificates so that you can track the financial information regarding software procurements. In this stage, the contract manager changes the status of the software contract to executed. That means now your contract is in active state. The configuration administrator requisitions and purchase softwares. The software asset manage, manager add license certificates for the purchased software assets. So that is how our software asset moves from the negotiation stage to the procurement stage. Then it would enter into the deployment stage. 
During the deployment phase, the software license management first time comes into picture in order to ensure the correct and verified license association with the deployed software. So in this stage, the software asset manager creates and schedules a license job to connect CEIs to the license certificate which has been created in the procurement stage as we have seen earlier and then he'll be checking the compliance of the license. In this stage also, the configuration administrator would be receiving the software assets. Then talking about the maintenance stage. As you know, maintenance is an ongoing activity. So the BMC Remedy Asset Management provides a way for you to track the ongoing license compliance for the software. Tracking compliance is rule based and can vary based on the license agreement for the specific software and also for the specific vendor. You can use BMC configuration automation for clients to track and understanding the usage of the software. So when we'll be understanding the usage of the software, you can proactively maintain the deployment of the software to allow for the most effective use of the purchased software licenses. The discovery products such as BMC configuration automation for clients or BMC Atrium discovery discovers the software. Then these discovery products populate BMC Atrium CMDB with the CIs for the software and with the relationship between software and computer system on which it is installed. In the end, BMC Atrium reconciliation engine runs populating the production data set with the discovered data. So now we would be having the software asset, assets into our CMDB. Then the license engine runs the license job to connect CIs to the license certificate and to check compliance of the licenses. In this stage, software asset manager can check the history from the manage license job console, which we would be seeing in the practical in the later slides. Here also the software asset manager monitors the status of the software license certificates. Also to prepare for an audit, the software asset manager runs a license job immediately to check for the compliance and then he would be printing a report for that. Coming to the next stage that after maintenance we would be assuming that the software asset enters the renewal stage. So whenever software contracts are nearing expiration, BMC Remedy Asset Management can send notifications. BMC Remedy Asset Management provides processes for renewing contracts and for tracking the additional purchases of licenses. The renewal process feeds back into the negotiation process providing a closed loop vision of the software lifecycle. So we can say that at this point of the lifecycle, it again enters into the negotiation state and from there it would enter into the procurement and then to deployment. There's also a stage if after maintenance it decides to go for the end of life. You can use the BMC Remedy Asset Management to help determine where the software is deployed which can help you decide whether to upgrade the software to newer or other versions. So whenever the software license expires, the next time the license engine runs a connection and compliance job, it removes the software CIs from the expired licenses. And if there's another non-expired license, the license engine attaches the software CIs to the license. Otherwise, the software CIs would remain unlicensed. And if the license is renewed, the software asset manager opens the license certificate and renews the license. So whenever the next time the license job would be running, it would run a connection and compliance job. It attaches the software CIs to the renewed license certificate and again a, a cycle of the software asset goes on. So this is something a brief discussion about the software lifecycle stages. Now we'll be seeing how these stages would be implemented in our software license management. In which we would be taking a brief look on the overview of the software license processes. As we've already discussed, 
initially the software cis would be discovered automatically or would be created manually then they would be normalized and would be stored into the cmdb after their storage into the cmdb a license engine would run the compliance and the usage job and would check whether you your uh, software agents are running on compliance and the usage are under your observations so let's see how all it does happen